So one of the things I've been saying for a while is, look, these guys like Tommy Robinson have been preaching hate constantly. You can try and deny it all you want and say that he's not a racist, but I'm sorry, I've gone through videos explaining why he's a racist, the language that he uses and why that's racist, the things that he says about Muslims and why that can be considered pretty racist. So it's of no surprise, absolutely no surprise, that particularly last year we saw a massive spike in extremist right-wing terrorism. You now have a situation where MI5 produced a report at the beginning of this year saying we are worried about what we're hearing uh, from far-right groups and that they are plotting uh, terrorist attacks. This should be incredibly worrying to every, anyone but it's so funny when you see the rational sceptics and, you know, classical liberals concerned about, <laughs> you know, oh, how, how awful Antifa did a, had a rally and, you know, one guy got punched. And then they paint the entire left as it's this constant violent ball when it's not it's a very small sub subset of these people but this is what these people like to do and you saw the violence that happened at the Tommy Robinson rally that's not unusual that is not unusual you can go back and look at every single EDL rally that ever happened you can find the EDL engaged in violence so of course these people are going to be violent and it's unf it gets to a point where, where does this become an even bigger and potential serious threat? Well, um, you may remember um, last year, there were four, I think it was four members, might have been five, but four of them um, were caught basically planning a terrorist attack. And we've now started to come out, um, as the trial has gone on, what we've seen uh, reported about these people. So, this is from the BBC. So, an alleged member of the banned neo-Nazi group has admitted planning to murder a Labour MP in an act of what he termed white jihad, a jury has heard. Jack Renshaw, 23, pled guilty at the Old Bailey to planning an act of terrorism by buying a machete to kill West Lancashire MP Rosie Cooper. He admitted... Uh, making a threat to kill police officer Victoria Henderson. Um, Renshaw of, I don't know how you say that, uh, 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 Settledale, Smack, uh, I've better no idea, somewhere in Lancashire, is one of six men on trial who deny being in the group National Action. Those, those accused are uh, Christopher, Christopher Lengo, Michael Michael Trubin, um, both from Warrington, Matthew Hackerson uh, from Newton uh, from Newton Lowells uh, on Mer near Merseyside, Andrew Clark from Prescott, uh, Garen Garen Helm uh, from also from Merseyside. Mister Le Mister Leggett uh, Mister Leggett also denies encouragement to murder by allegedly giving Rawshaw permission to kill uh, Miss Cooper on behalf of the group. Renshaw had previously denied the two charges, but his but his pleas at uh, but his pleas at the court start uh, uh, please uh, please at the start of his trial. But also, it's changed his pleas at the start of his trial. It's like what the <laughs> um, prosecutor said, Renshaw wanted to take hostages to lure um, Detcon Henderson uh, to the scene so he could kill her too. Um, but the court heard that the plan was foiled after a disenfranchised member, sorry, a disenfranchised member of the uh, National Action reported the threat to Hope Not Hate, an organisation seeking to combat extremist right-wing political racism. Um, prosecutors told the jury that National Action had supported the murder of MP Joe Cox in June 2016. Duncan Atkinson QC said the defendants were not being prosecuted as their 
uh, as their racist or neo or, or neo Nazi beliefs, however repulsive they may be, but for their but for their participation in a banned organization that sought actively through fear, intimidation, and threat of violence rather than through free speech and democracy to shape society. He said Mr. Renshaw was uh, particularly a uh, politically and racially motivated, was planning a politically, uh, racially and motivated murder. He also sought the blessing of, of, Mr., of Mr. Langoat. The prosecution added that, he, uh, that added was, effective, was effectively the leader um, uh, of Mr. Langoat was effectively the leader of the, of the National Action Group and nothing significant happened without his approval. He said that National Action was engaged in a campaign of virulent anti-Semitic and homophobic propaganda since 2013 and was formally put on the government list of prescribed organisations in December 2016 but the defendant's um, active participation in the group did not stop with the ban. Jurors were told that Mr. Mr. Luster Ligoth sent an email to other members just before the ban saying long term we'll keep moving forward as we have always been and the next day he wrote um, we are just shedding one skin for another. Mr. Atkinson told the court that Robbie Mullen had been a member of National Action before the ban but became disillusioned with the group particularly after the murder of Joe Cox. Jurors heard that on the 1st of July last year at a meeting attended by most of the defendants that Mr. Rullen, uh, that Mr. Mullen uh, Renshaw said that he planned to kill Rosie Cooper. The court heard that Renshaw said he had already purchased a long machete and it was later found in his home. Mr. Atkinson said Renshaw's objective was not simply to make a political point, as he put it, to kill for national action and white jihad, but to revenge himself on those he considered to be persecuting him, namely Lancashire Police and Detective, uh, Detective Constable Henderson in particular. Renshaw told the, told the meeting that after, after killing Miss, uh, Miss Cooper, he would take hostages and demand that the detective attend the scene uh, the prosecution claimed. The plan would be uh, to kill, that, to kill um, that officer who he said was the real target. The court heard Renshaw had been arrested in January on 27 of a suspicion of a string of racial hatred over anti-Semitic speeches he had given. He was interviewed by Detective uh, Henderson and another officer, then for a second time after analysis of a seized mobile phone, really realised um, what police considered to be uh, evidence of child sex offences or grooming. Hmm. Yet you don't see um, Tommy Robinson talking about this, do you? Hmm. I wonder why. Probably because he's white. So Renshaw had talked about how police were trying to destroy his life and make it sound like he was a paedophile, the prosecution said. He said that he had uh, uh, had, had killed the officer. Uh, said he would uh, said after he had killed the officer, he would commit suicide by cop by pretending to wear a suicide vest and would also make a video to say the attack had been done on behalf of National Action. Jurors were told that Mr. Mullen uh, that Mr. Mullen believed Renshaw was serious and that he was an imminent, imminent threat to life, and he reported what had been said to his contacts at Hope Not Hate. Mr., uh, the Hope Not Hate director Nick Lowe's alerted the MP Ruth uh, Ruth Sheen, who once worked at the charity, and she in turn warned Miss Cooper, leading to the police inquiry. Mr. Atkinson said the trial was adjourned until Wednesday. What more can you say about that, really? <laughs>